Yes guys, it's finally here. You can just come to the Blender, click here in Caustic Lights, and it's effing done. We have the effing Caustics. Finally. Hello everyone, Augusto here, and if you don't know me, I work with Architecture Visualization and I have this channel called Blender for Archivists where we talk about architectural visualization inside of Blender. So, if you'd like to know more about this topic, please subscribe and click the notification bell so every time I post a new video, you will know it. But now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Finally, we have the caustics inside of Blender. Right now, in the moment I'm recording this video, this is really, really early. So we have a lot of bugs, a lot of unintended behavior in this project, but we know that this, this will work amazingly. So let me show how it works. Basically, what's going on in this file is this, a simple thing. It's, it's really follow the, the Blender philosophy when we talk about handling, because nothing in Blender is something that we cannot isolate it. For example, what's going on here? To have caustics in our scene, we need to have uh, an object that allows us to have caustics. So this object here should be called, should be set as caustics coster, or that means it will cast caustics in our... Okay, <laughs> in our scene. And also we have to have another object that will be a caustic receiver. So not all objects in our scene will have caustics if you don't set that. Please go away. <laughs> only objects that we want to have caustics will have that. For now, we only have the refractive caustics. We don't have the, the reflective. It's looking good, but can look greater if it has a uh, reflective stuff going on here for that. For example, these caustics here could be generated and reflect on top of a wall or a ceiling uh, on top of the pool. Things like that. Also, we can make the world settings as a caustic emitter, as I, sh I showed you in the beginning of the video. So we can turn off the caustics. You can see that's really computing intensive, as you guys can see. And we can do the same for lights. For example, in lights, we'll have this feature as well. So if you wanted to know more about this feature, you can come here to the you test by yourself, actually. You can come here to the Blender download section and you can just click here in patch and download the first, the first test here where you can download the build and test by yourself. The funny thing about it, uh, come on, my cats, go. What the hell are you doing? Stop. The funny thing is, the reason this feature is being pushed ahead is because our little friend, our reptilian friend, Mark Zuckerberg, this is because Facebook want the caustic feature in, implemented inside of Blender because they wanted to do uh, realistic eyes. And I never thought about that, actually. I, I feel kind of dumb because our eyes, our iris inside of our eyes, they are refractive stuff. So the reason why a lot of games had dead eyes in, the, in their characters is just because there is no caustics inside, the, uh, inside of the eyes. So Facebook is pushing that because they want to have believable eyes when they, when they were handling with Blender. It's really funny because when Facebook starts to financial Blender and give some donations, people get freaked out. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm kind of laughing because this is ironic. I'm not a fan of Microsoft, Mark Zuckerberg or Facebook or things like that, but it's funny to think about this irony. <laughs> so we have realistic iris inside of Blender because of caustics. And now we also can have caustic for water pools, for lakes, for puddles, for glass stuff and all that kind of stuff that really will bring more realism to our scene. For example, uh, take a look at that. We can just add a monkey here like so. Uh, and this monkey here can be set it as a caustics uh, object. So we can just come here and click here, caustic caster. And if you apply the material on this object, for example, for example, reducing the roughness and increasing the transmission, done. We have an object that we will have a, an object that will cast caustics in our scene. It's gorgeous. It's wonderful to see. <laughs> I don't even, I almost don't believe this is inside of Blender right now. As I told you, it's in early stuff, so that is a lot of bugs and things to be fixed. But we can see that it's working and it's fine. <laughs> it's really... 
we have a good fruit we have a, a good stuff going on here and thanks for facebook i don't know i don't know how to feel about that <laughs> anyway if you like this video please click subscribe and click the no notification bell so every time i post a new video you guys will know that okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in our next video bye and take care